My choice is door one. Hey, wait a minute there. You cheating? Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure, here. I had three pieces of paper ready, and I put the one with door six on it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? <laughs> you got lucky. Very well. We've decided who will go through door one. It will be Clover, Junpei, and myself. Our only problem is the two remaining teams. June and I want door six. Lotus and I want door two. That's not good. We can't open either of those doors with only two people. <laughs> Aw. Fine. Seven, we'll go through door six. Sure thing. I didn't really want to go through door two anyway. Besides, if we've got a younger girl with us, it'll lower the average age. Right, June? Uh, well, I... Pig. You just wait and see. Calling me old. This is why men are such a pain in the ass. They're about as subtle as a brick. And they're at it again. I'll see you later, June. Jumpy. Don't make that face. It'll be like what Seven said. We aren't going to be, be split, split up, up permanently till we find door, door 9. nine. We, might we might get separated, separated for a little while, while but we'll see each other see again. Each other Otherwise, Otherwise, we won't be able to open, open door 9. nine. That's, how That's how the notary game, game works. works. It'll be fine. I'll see you soon. All right. See you later. Here's a deck. It was the door on the left, right? Mm. That should be it, yes. Then here we go. Just as Santa and Lotus said, a numbered door. There's the red. I'll go first. Now the two of you, if you would. <laughs> now. Are you ready? Shall I? Yeah, anytime. <laughs> Very well then. Three, two, one. And it's open! Move it! Where? Where is it? Uh, there it is! Over there! Uh, uh, it stopped. Yes! Whew. I'm not sure. We should finish. <laughs> now then. There's another door. Let's try opening it. So, this is the wheelhouse? Ace, you investigate the wheelhouse next door. Very well. Clover, you're in charge of this room. Uh, Say something. Okay. All right then. Let. Might I take a look at it? Hey, man. What are you doing over in this room? 
Oh, I just thought I'd come check up on the two of you. Is there a problem? Well, not a problem, but... That's a lie. I wanted to get rid of Ace. I sent him to the wheelhouse at the beginning for a reason. I wanted to talk to Clover alone. There's something I want to ask her. And I don't want anyone to overhear us. I'm pretty sure Clover won't talk if there's anyone else around. I'm a little desperate to send him back, quick. He has to leave. Oh, I see, of course. I apologize for the intrusion. Well, best of luck. <sighs> what was that about? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, uh, no, 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 it's not like that. What's it like then? I just wanted to hear the rest of that story. I didn't get a chance to ask you about it until now. What story? About the experiment, remember? You said something about an experiment that happened here nine years ago. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm just not in the mood, okay? Uh... You understand, right? I'm just... I keep thinking about my brother. I... I can't stop. I mean, who would do something like that? To my brother? <sighs> I can't forgive them. I'm not going to let them get away with it. They're going to pay for it. I promise. So, so, Junpei, who do you think did it? Well, if what Seven said was right, then there would have to be at least two of them. You need at least three people to open the numbered doors. You're right. So, what does that mean? Well, if we just look at the bracelet numbers, we should be able to figure it out. Who could have opened door three with s Well, really, who and who, or who, who, and who? You mean it could have been four people? Well, technically, it's possible. Um, I don't know. That doesn't seem very likely. Why? Um, I'll tell you later. Why don't we just assume it was only two other people for now? Okay, uh, got it. Let's do that then. Then who do you think it could be? and Lotus? The digital root for Snake, Ace, and Lotus is two. That's definitely not three. Then which two... Would it be Santa? The digital root for three! Wait, hold on. Are Santa and Seven the killers? <sighs> What's wrong? Well, I thought about it. That's what I thought. Santa and Seven. If it was two people, then that's the only combination that works. Hey, wait a minute there. Don't you think it's a little too early to be jumping to conclusions? Well, all I said is that those two would have been able to open door three with your brother. There might be other possibilities. Well, what other possibilities? Uh... Are you saying you think that it was three or four people? I really don't think that's likely. Why not? Can I borrow your pen and paper? Yeah, here. What's this? These are the combinations for three or four people. These eight combinations are the only possible ones. Oh, I see. Junpei? Yeah? I... I can trust you. Right? Of course. Why would you need to ask that? Really? Yeah. So then I should get rid of B, D, G, and H. Of course. Uh, just cross. And you should take off yours, too. The so, what does that leave? A and E. Wait, it can't be A. Why? Because June's in that one. There's no way in hell she'd do something like that. Are you sure? I bet my life on it. Okay, then. I can cross off A, too, right? Yeah. Well, what have we got left? E. Do you know what this means? Everyone besides me, you, and June would be working together. Do you think that's likely? Hmm. 
If there were four people working together, they wouldn't be very cautious. I don't think they'd try that hard to hide what they were doing if they outnumbered us, right? Well, you do have a point. And besides, if Ace and Seven are working together, they could have easily gotten rid of me when I went to the shower room with them. But they didn't. They didn't even try anything. If they were killers, why wouldn't they? Oh, I see. Anyway, I understand now. It seems pretty unlikely that it was as many as three or four people. Yeah. Then that means there's a good chance it was Santa and Seven. That's how it looks. But why would they do it? Their motive. Have I... interrupted something? Uh... uh what is it? There was something I wanted to speak with you about, Junpei. Could you... Go ahead. Okay. What did you want to talk about? There was something I wanted to... check. Yeah? What's that? If you'll excuse me. Hey! What, what the hell are you doing? I'm just checking. No, no, no! Stop! I... Um... Just as I thought. What exactly are these pieces of paper hiding in your pocket? Uh... You switched them, didn't you, when we... Um... <sighs> well, I can't say that I care. I managed to get through the numbered door I wanted, despite your mischief. Then, why did you... Oh, simple curiosity. I hope you won't think ill of me for it. Uh... <sighs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Oh, it's far too narrow to be called one. This seems to be the only route. Yeah, let's go. Wow. Well, these machines are weird. I I've never seen any of them before. Huh? Wait, this one is... Ah, oh, yes. A telegraph key. This must be the communication office. And that door? Captain's quarters. Huh. That's what it says. Then, do you think... Well, we won't know if we don't open it. Not again. Damn. No, wait. We didn't check his pulse yet. Maybe he's still alive. No pulse. Well, he's dead. Damn. If only we knew how it happened. These wounds. I wonder what killed him. It must have been this. These clothes. A captain. Does that mean this guy was zero? Bracelet zero. <sighs> it may be wise to find a way out of here first. Yeah, you're right. Z-E-R-O, huh? It's like he's making fun of us. What do you think? Nothing. What about him? Do you think that's really Zero? There's no way that's him. Didn't I tell you already? Zero is one of us. Yeah, right. Well, even if he wasn't one of us, there's no way that man could be Zero. Huh? Don't you get it? The letters that spell zero on the TV screen, the captain's clothes he's got on, and of course, the bracelet with a zero on it. It's too obvious! <laughs> look, look, this is zero right here. This dead body is zero. <laughs> Isn't that kind of fishy? You're right. Only an idiot wouldn't see through something like that. No, th that's not the point. So I'm not trying to make fun of them for thinking a trick like this would work. I'm sure they didn't think it would work, which makes me wonder. I think this is a challenge. A challenge from the person who's really behind all of this. He's making fun of us. Uh? Don't you get it? If whoever killed this guy really wanted us to think this corpse was zero, they'd never have put a bracelet on him. Walking around with a zero bracelet would be like hanging a sign around your neck that said, I did it! Anyone with a brain would be able to see that this guy is supposed to look like everything zero is supposed to be. Just like we did. Uh. The killer must have known we wouldn't think he was Zero and put the bracelet on him anyway. Do you know why? Why? Like I said, he's mocking us. Too bad, suckers. This isn't Zero. Where's the real me then? See if you can catch me. It's the same bad joke a lot of criminals like to play. They'll just sit back and watch people run in circles. That's really twisted. Yeah, you're right. It's really childish. It's... All right, let's get back to the point. Who killed this man? I don't know. And what's this guy's deal? Who is- How would I know that? You have no idea who he is. Why would I? Hmm. We should check and see if he's got anything on him that might tell us who he is. Give me a hand here, Clover. Huh? We gotta flip him over. <laughs> okay, uh, fine. Guess I'll do it. Here we go. <clears throat> huh? Hey, it's the- 
Oh god, this man... He's dead, isn't he? Huh? No, it's just... I... I guess I didn't really think about it until right now. If his bracelet's off, that means he's dead. Well, it's pretty obvious that he's dead. You don't really need to look at his bracelet to figure out that he's dead. Yeah, yeah, uh... I guess you're right. It is pretty obvious. Well, uh... He looks a lot better than the other bodies we've seen, though. <laughs> you know? I mean, if, if there wasn't all this blood, he'd almost look like he was still alive. <laughs> I mean, I know it's kind of a messed up thing to say, but he kinda has it better, you know? Dying from a bomb going off inside of you? I mean, that's just... Some of Snake's bones went right through his skin. I, I think the explosion must have thrown him against a wall or something. There was a broken bone just sticking out of his left arm. And... Uh, oh. What did you just say? Oh man, uh, I am... I, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. I, I really don't know what I was thinking. I mean... No, that's not what I'm talking about. What did you say about... A arm? Yes, his left arm. You said it, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did, but... I mean, I, didn't, didn't you see it too? Of course not. I could barely look at him. There's no way I was going to see the details. Are you sure it was his left arm? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. And he had a broken bone, right? What the hell are you getting at here? Just shut up and answer me! Yeah, he did. Uh, it was pretty bad, too. The bone was sticking out of the arm. <laughs> Clover? <sighs> What's wrong? Uh, Look, I'm sorry if I said anything. Thank you. Huh? Uh, what are you... Thank you so much, Junpei! Hey, uh, what's going on with you? I'm sorry, it's just... I'm so happy! Why? The body in the shower room... It, it isn't his! Huh? It's not Snake! Why on earth would you think that? Because his left arm is... I'm sorry, I really shouldn't be talking about this. Uh... But he's still alive. I'm... I'm so happy! I'm so glad! Uh-huh. Junpei... You were right! Huh? No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith and to have love. If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. Uh, that's... I only made it here because you gave me this. I was suspicious of everybody. I was angry and miserable. But because I had this four-leaf clover, because of what you said to me, I... Yeah. Thank you so much, Junpei. Oh, if you really want to thank somebody, you, you should be thanking Santa. Santa? Well, he was the one who gave me that thing. And the words for each leaf, I got that from him too. Oh. Um... Uh... Uh... Huh? Did... did Santa really tell you those things? Yeah, he... he did. Did I, uh, say something wrong? Oh no, not at all. In fact, this could be really good news, I think. You think? Santa knew about the words and the clover. The only people who should know about that are the other subjects. Subjects? The other people who were in the experiment nine years ago, with my brother and me. <sighs> But he's blind, and I was part of the Nevada test group. So neither of us would be able to recognize the faces of the people who were on this boat. Whoa, 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 okay, time out. Let's just calm down for a second, okay? Start from the top. Don't start with the end and then jump to the middle. You, you, you gotta start with one and then move to two and three and four. If you don't tell me stuff in the right order, I'm never gonna be able to figure it out. Okay. All right, let's start with this experiment. What happened on this boat nine years ago? Do you know about morphogenetic fields? Morphogenetic fields? All right. Theory? I think... Hmm. Telepathy, huh? Well, that's not really it, but I suppose it's similar. So they were testing telepathy on this ship? Yeah, I guess so. So, what exactly did they have you guys do? The same thing that we're doing now. Exactly the same thing. What? The nonary game. 
Nine people were put on this boat, and nine others were put in the building in Nevada, and the game started. Look, I'm sorry, but I, I don't get it. What do the nonary game and some telepathy experiment have to do with each other? Am I missing something here? The ability to access a morphogenetic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is epiphany, and the other is danger. You know how sometimes when you're up against a really tough problem, and then the answer just kind of pops in your head? That's an epiphany, and what you learn from the epiphany can be transmitted with telepathy. When you add danger to that equation, then it gets easier to transmit that information over telepathy. So you're saying the nonary game was supposed to introduce that element of danger? Yeah, but it couldn't be just any old danger. It had to be life and death. And someone did actually die. She was on the boat with my brother. I was in Nevada. I never met her, but I did hear her name. Uh? Her name was... Oh, my apologies. I seem to have disturbed you. Ace! You two must have strong stomachs. I can't imagine how you could stay in this room for so long. At any rate, Junpei, would you be so kind as to come and help me with something? I'm having a little trouble, and I could really use your assistance. Uh... Come on. It'll only take a moment. I don't want Ace to hear us. We can talk about this later. Huh? Hey, wait! Junpei? What are you doing in there? Hurry up! Looks like they're A.L. All Ice. Alice. Does this mean... What the hell is this? They are hieroglyphs. A form of writing used in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt? That's right. Can you read them? Of course. I can't. What would make you think I could? What the hell? Whoa, the, the whole thing's like that. Huh? What's this? Oh, a, a keycard. Uranus. That's the Uranus symbol. Something's written on the bottom. Bottom deck library. This must be the key to the library, then. So it would seem. Bottom deck library. Oh. Seven said something like. Alice, Alice sleeps, sleeps in a small, small chamber, chamber past, past the forest, the forest of, of knowledge, knowledge beneath, beneath the navel, the navel of, the of the gigantic. Could beneath the navel mean the bottom deck? And the Forest of Knowledge is the library? Then could Alice be in a room somewhere beyond the library? What's wrong? Something on your mind? Um, yeah. Is that so? What about- Well... The Egyptian Priestess and Ice-9. Interesting. 
And the woman who wouldn't melt, who was recovered from the Titanic disaster? They called her All Ice, which eventually, and she was purchased, according to Seven. And you think that he hid her in a small- Yeah. Hmm. Junpei, have you ever heard of the term CAS? CAS? It stands for Cells Alive System. It is put simply, it is normally, if you've CAS, the op- It was originally developed for the preservation of food. Now, however, there are rumors that it can be used for other things. What do you mean, other? Well, there are obvious medical uses, but perhaps also space travel. Space travel? Surely you've heard of suspended animation. It's a fairly common idea in science fiction books and films. People are sometimes frozen for especially lengthy journeys through space. Whoa, 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 wait a minute there. Are you saying that Alice was frozen using that cast thing? Well, I'm sure the possibility is quite low, but it is a possibility. If this special ice you call Ice-9 does indeed exist, and casts were used to freeze her into that sort of ice instantaneously. You think she could be alive? Well, I can't say for sure, of course. I'm only talking about possibilities. The melting point for Ice-9 is 96 degrees, right? If she were put somewhere where she could reach that temperature, <laughs> That's nuts! Are you really saying she could have defrosted and started walking about? You're quite right. It does sound unbelievable. But if she had, then we would have an explanation for the man we found dead on the floor. You mean the guy dressed like a captain? Yes. He was dead when we found him. Clearly, he was murdered. But if he was murdered, then by whom? It couldn't have been one of us. That would be impossible. In order to enter the captain's quarters, one must first open door one. That door that requires the Earth Key prevented us from accessing door one. Who was it that opened that door? Santa and Lotus. Right. Clearly, the two of them could not have opened door one. Who else then could have done so? Nobody. After Santa and Lotus used the Earth Key, they turned back and met up with me in June. Then, we returned to the large hospital room and found Ace, Seven, and Clover. While we'd gone into the shower room, Ace, Seven, and Clover had stayed behind. But it's impossible for those three to open door one. Hmm, but what about when June and I took the elevator to door two? No, still won't work. We were only gone five minutes. No human being could have run to the cap- It would be impossible for any of that being the case. Wouldn't it make sense if- <sighs> A person like that, they would know the, the number. It would be a sip. Then you're saying. Well. All ice. Is she really? Maybe the end of it. Okay. All right, let's go. 
That's the next door. Wait, a piece of paper. This is... Map of the ship's interior for A-Deck. <laughs> What's wrong? I found a map for this floor. I see. Well, that was anticlimactic. I should keep this, though. Hey, uh, where's Clover? Damn it. What the hell is she up to? Clover! Huh? huh? Uh, what the hell are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What the hell is that? What? You've got something in your pocket. What is it? Oh, this? Uh, um, a note. A note? Yeah. I found it in the pocket of the guy with the captain's clothes. It said something about the darkness of the sinister hand or... What the hell? Uh, no, no. Hey, Junpei, Clover, what are you two doing? Hurry up. He's getting mad. I'll show it to you later, all right? Come on, we gotta hurry. Uh, from the look of that pocket, it doesn't particularly look like just a note. Jeez, what are you thinking? Uh, for crying out loud. The big stairs. Huh. So this is where it ends up. Just like it says on the map. Ace, did he head down? Oh, there he is. Look, the four others are there too. Really? Let's join them. Jumpy, Clover. What's up? We found it. Found what? We found it. What did you find? The last door. We found door nine. What? Come on! Just follow us! We'll explain on the way! Okay. Well, if that's the case... Wait for me. We should get going as well. Jumpy! We finally made it! Yeah. We've reached the end. Something's bothering me. Only three to five people can go through the numbered door. Seven of us are on our way to door nine. That means that, best case scenario, there will be two of us who have to stay behind. Two people. Is there a way? 4.30. We've only got 90 minutes left. I've got no time to wonder about it now. Hey! Junpei! June! What the hell are you two doing? Hurry it up! Let's go, Jun- Yeah. I know I told you I'd explain it earlier, but honestly, there ain't much to explain. After we split off from you guys, the four... After that, we headed down another hallway. It took us toward the bow, and the vent reopened it and kept going. There was an... Once we were through that door, there was another hallway that went the other direction. So, on your way, you found the elevator. That's right. So, in other words, you kind of did a lap, huh? You came from that side to this side. Yeah. So, where's the number nine door? Over here. Follow me. Uh. By the way, you know, it's because of Santa that we're all here right now. Huh? That all seven of us are going to door nine. What? You don't get it? Santa, Seven, and Lotus, what's their digital route? Nine. It's nine. That's right. They could have just left me behind and kept going if they'd wanted to. But they didn't. Yes. Because Santa wouldn't let them. He said, we can't leave June and the others behind. That's why we went looking for you guys. And then you got on the elevator and went back to the central staircase. That's right. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't have called that one. Uh, that Santa would be the one to stick up for you. I mean. Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't mean that Seven and Lotus said they wanted to leave me behind. We were just talking about it, and Santa objected to it first. Is that so? We're here. So... Is this... Yeah. There's no other place for us to go. Nope. Just look around. There's a big old iron wall at the end of the hallway. The other hallways on the left and right are blocked by metal grates. I see. All right. Let's get moving. <sighs> oh. No way. <laughs> the Nine Door. We're finally here. No doubt about it. This is Door Nine. <laughs> oh, finally! This is the last... Junpei, look behind you. Behind? What? 
Why a door and a nine? There's another one? Hey, what the hell? What the hell is going on here? There's a red there too. That means... And of course it won't open. But why? Why the hell are there two doors? Do you think perhaps one is the right door and the other is the wrong one? I don't know about that. It seems unlikely. What makes you say so? Well, think about all the rooms we've been through so far. They're full of puzzles, but there are always hints about how to solve them. I'm pretty sure there aren't any rooms where we just had to go with our best guess and leave it to instinct to solve the puzzle. Do you really th Then you're saying there's some sort of hint in this room? No, I don't think there's a hint anywhere in here. I searched it very well when I was in here before. I didn't find anything that might have been a hint, though. Hmm. Well, then. Yeah, both of these are the right door.